What's up, Andrew? All right, now, please help Hey, y'all know why I played that song, though. I know Devin's missing Ben Diddy right now. <laughs> I, I, I could have delivered that a little better. But. <laughs> please help me now. Welcome to the stage, one of boxing's young superstars, the former undisputed lightweight champion and the current reigning and defending WB super lightweight champion, the dream, Devin Haney. Okay, now, let's please welcome to the podium a man who had multiple world championships in two weight classes and a former undisputed middleweight champion, boxing Hall of Famer and Golden Boy partner, Mr. Bernard Hopkins. First, I'm glad to say that everybody showed up and they're excited and waited um, patiently till they get here. And listen, this is a super fight of this era, and we all should respect that, including the reporters and also the Instagram reporters, that these guys got together and made this fight happen at record time. Record time. And that's unusual in this business of boxing, and the negotiations wasn't as long as everybody expected to be. So Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney decided to go and show the world that they're willing to be great by fighting the best in their division. And we are here. So let's respect that. Anybody in the media, all these social media people from the internet, don't ask me about me and anybody else, whether it's Bill or anybody else, because that be taken and away from this fight and very disrespectful from my perspective because Devin have worked to get where he at, undisputed, to become undefeated, and at this stage to prove his supremacy in this division. So let's understand this is a warning for me. I will walk away from you if we're not talking about this fight, which need to be respected, because I believe the animosity and the proof that the superior guy is me or him that's up to them. We are here to promote it. We are here to say what we say for our guy and mean it. So let them settle their score on who's the best come April. Thank you. Please now help me welcome one of boxing's top trainers, Derek James, to the podium. Hello, everybody. Hello, LA. I'm just uh, happy to be here. I know it's, time is coming, getting closer and closer to the fight. I know everybody's anticipating a great matchup. And I'm looking forward to see Ryan show everything that he has and everything he's grown to be. I know Devin's a great competitor, great fighter. So it takes great fighters 
to bring the best out of great fighters. So what I expect is a great fight and a great victory. Thank you. Thank you, Derek. Now, the man who helped put this fight together, representing Devin Haney Promotions, father and trainer of Devin Haney, please welcome Mr. Bill Haney to the podium. Well, well, well. I want to give uh, all the blessings and graces to God, Allah, who made this all possible. But once again, seems like they're trying to piss on your head and tell, it, tell you that it's rain. We did a lot to make this thing happen. I'm glad that Bernard now um, recognizes a commitment of a team, father, manager, and trainer. So we don't want this to go under, looked at that everyone else, when someone tells you that you can't do it and you believe in yourself, you believe in your, your fighter, in my case, my son, who's amazing, he's the best in the world. And we're gonna show him on April 20th. This guy and his antics is going to be the death of Ryan Garcia and the way you guys know him. On April, oh. on, on, on April 20th, I, I know we brought, you brought some girls and stuff, but they're gonna go with us when we leave. So don't worry about that. Now, that was your mistake It would be H the Great, but don't worry, we're gonna get to that. Now, the key thing is that on this fight that Ryan has raised his hand when no one else did. Let me point that out. I, I, we really take Ryan Garcia serious. Uh, I think that it's a distraction. He's attempting to appear as a TikToker. I know him as a 12-time national amateur champion. 15. 15, oh, that's true. <laughs> true, right? Um, facts. Well, 15, let me excuse me, 15. Thank you, Bill. Now, um, so this will be a fight that I know that he's trying to fight out of that stereotype, and Devin is the perfect guy to do it. Uh, he raised his hand. No one else did. Not Tank, not nobody. He, he, listen, whether he tried to back out or not, he's here, and I take him very serious, and on April 20th, it's going to be the death of Ryan Garcia in the way you know it, and you see it. Hey, and shout out to Shea Buttercream, and the Shea Butter family doing a wonderful job Jergens, with the Shea Butter man, Cream. Jergens. So, Cocoa butter. please let us know the Shea Butter Cream. What about the Shea toupee that your dad is wearing? Now, let me ask you, can you tell us how does the cream work for him? At least I don't have a nappy hair oh. like Don King. Uh, well, you know, it's real. I know you that? said is, the Don is, King. Is that some but racist? On April 20th, it's going to be Ryan the Queen. April 20th, you're going to see a good knockout, and then you're going to wish you didn't say those words. So go ahead, Don King. Ladies and gentlemen, now let me introduce a man who's not only one of the leading boxing promoters in the game right now, he's a gold medalist, former world champion in multiple weight classes, and the man pushing for these types of mega fights, Golden Boy himself, Mr. Oscar De La Hoya. Thank you very much, Mario. Um, guys, welcome to Fight of the Year. We, um, we're really excited to um, finally have Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney square off April 20th. And keep in mind that both guys, both guys have three wins against each other in the amateurs. And now this one, April 20th, will be Will be uh, will be one for the ages. Will be uh, will will show the world who the very best is. And what I love about this fight here, okay, what I love about this fight is that it it takes me back to the days where the best fight the best. When I approached uh, the Haneys, they were in a thousand percent quick, right off the bat. I approached Ryan. He was like, "Let's do this." He wanted to fight Haney, so. This is what boxing is all about. This is what Golden Boy is all about, making the best fight the best. It is for a world title. Devin Haney has been an elite world champion for a long time now on the top level. And uh, obviously his talents, his team, uh, everything that he's worked hard for, uh, he's made come true. And um, 
That's why he is the best. That's why he is one of the best at 140 pounds. You take a, you take a look at the, the, vision, the division at 140. I'm talking about the past. I'm talking about champions like Pernell Whitaker, the lineage, lineage champions. Devin Haney, Pernell Whitaker, Julio Cesar Chavez. I mean, I'll, I'm not embarrassed to include myself in there also, but you take a look at that division and it's one of the best competitive divisions in the world today. And when you talk about Ryan Garcia, who's making the noise, who's creating this buzz for boxing on a global level, you combine both fighters, the best, you combine Ryan, and I'm telling you, April 20th, you will have the biggest, biggest event in boxing history. And that's what we're excited about. We're excited about evening the score. It's three and three. And I was watching those fights, and you, sh you guys should go watch those fights as well on YouTube. Check them out. They were competitive, they were tough, and they're three and three. So now April 20th, we will see who comes out on top. That's what I'm excited about. So let me introduce to you, I mean, the first time I saw Ryan fight, um, it was special. It really was. The speed, the one-punch power, the knockout power, I mean, he truly has it all. And now, coming off the biggest pay-per-view last year and stepping into another huge major pay-per-view, he uh, is willing to be the very best. He's willing to fight the toughest guys. He wants to prove to the world, prove to you guys that he is the best, and that is Ryan Garcia. Ryan. First, I want to give glory to Jesus Christ. Um, I, want to lift, I want to lift the room up with the energy of inviting the Holy Spirit in here to lead uh, when I, what, what I should say. So that's what I'm going to do. You know, I, I want to invite the Holy Spirit to come into this room and fill this room with peace and, and, and just to be really direct. What the fuck happens to your voice? So at the end of the day, I've been screaming for these promos, but I'm not even going to react. At the end of the day, you know, I want to clarify some Stop things. Stop the coke, nigga. It's fucking up your voice. I, 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 want, I, I, want to, I, want, I want to clarify some things. I want to clarify some things. I don't do cocaine. I would do I would do a live drug test. What do you do? I would do a what live do you do? drug test. What I, do you do? I drink and I smoke weed, and so has the majority of this room. So has the majority of this room. What 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 kind of example are you for the younger generation watching this? Talking about you drinking, you smoke weed. Weed is legal, bro. That cool. Bro, you the younger generation look up to us. What are you what are you talking about? Why are you trying hard. to publicize you? Drink whatever you do behind closed doors. I don't know what he's talking about. Door. Anyways, why are you day, trying to? This is young kids. Hey. It's, it's young kids watching us. It's young kid watching us. Mom, you good, mom? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank it's you. People hey, watching. Lord, us. Yeah, yeah, that part. That part. That part. That part. You finally got somebody raising your hand saying, "I'm real. I'm like this. I do drink. I do smoke. Now what? It's okay." Guess what? We all have our flaws and we all evolve as people. Look at, I'm 25 years old. You gotta remember the weight of the world sometimes feels like it's on my shoulders. You know, you know, you, you, I don't know how many people have been 25 years old and made $100 million in their life and can do whatever they want. I wanna see what you would do in my shoes. Probably a lot more than some weed. <laughs> but this is what I'm saying. Like, I wanna, I wanna invite you guys, I'm gonna try to make it short what happened in my life as a little, little, little baby defiled as a little baby. Then after that, my family loses everything. We're sleeping in cars, five kids, one bedroom, with a dream. And with, and with God, we, want, we, just, we just let God lead our life. And through that whole process, I grinded and I earned every, everything I have today, I earned it. I didn't, nobody gave me a handout. We never, I never had money, you know? Uh, I'm, just, I, I'm really a small town boy. You know, and then I just grew up as a man and you start evolving, you start being a leader. And then, you know, I got to clean some stuff up. I Maybe I didn't make the right move, you know, the, the other day posting that picture, you know, me lighting it up, you know, bad move, my bad, you know, um, but you keep it moving, you know, life, you know, I, I just want to let God, you know, it, 
if I'm not the man I'm supposed to be, that means God's not done yet. And, and I feel like, look it, everybody has the same chance I have. And I just invite you to get to know Jesus Christ. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Ryan. So at just 25 years of age, I mean, think about this. There's a lot, of, there's a lot that Devin Haney hasn't accomplished in the sport of boxing. Uh, he's undefeated. He's a two-time division world champion, and he fights anyone and everyone. And this is what's special about this fight. And, and I'm going to keep repeating myself because fighters today... Every fighter out there, maybe not every single one, but there's fighters out there, the majority of them do not want to give the fight fans the fights that we deserve to watch. And Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney came together, and we're giving you guys, man, this fight's going to be amazing on, a, on, on, on April 20th. He's willing to be the very best and fighting the very best, Coming off of coming off wins like uh, Cambosos and Regis Progress, you know fighters like Lomachenko, um, daring to be great, and that's the bottom line. And it's very rare in this sport, so it is my pleasure to introduce to you. And he's been undisputed lightweight champion of the world, and he now is the current WBC super lightweight champion of the world. He is the dream, Devin Haney. First off, I want to, you know, thank Allah, you know, alhamdulillah. Uh, you know, this is a, a dream come true of mine. You know, I always dreamed to, to be here one day, and uh, now I'm finally here. You know, um, I have respect for Ryan, you know, because me and we shared the ring six times as kids. We came up together. But um, over these last, you know, few days, I lost a lot of respect for him because, one, we have a fight. The world is tuning in. So look, look how much media here. Look how many people are here to... To watch us, so it's like I'm a I'm a true professional. I try to be professional in, in 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 everything I do, and I'm not saying that you know I come from you know my my dad you know he has not made the the best choices in life, but he molded me to be the man that I am today, and that's why I always try to you know come off the the best way I can to give the fans and the kids and the people you know the, and lead lead by a good example. On the other hand, we got this guy who's doing the complete opposite. And like I said, I don't know. I don't know what he what what he comes from. I'm. I don't know what. He, I don't know. Uh, okay, but listen. He, Slow down, what, cutie. Whatever, 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 hey, whatever he's going through. Slow down. Whatever, Slow down. whatever he's going through. I love whatever, you. Slow down. Shout out you. I love whatever you. What, what, whatever you're doing behind Boston closed doors. Let him talk behind you, closed doors. I love you, mom. Man, would you like to come up and talk? This is Ryan Garcia's mom. This is Ryan Garcia's mom. Okay. All right. Hey, let me ask you. Listen. When you like were the said, judge, like, wait, when you were the judge and the referee and everything that you guys did in LDB and, and Come on, Bill, stop no, well, this no, 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 wait, 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 no, wait, no, no, you know no, 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 because you know what, what? hey, you know weren't you a pimp, hey, no, no, weren't listen, you a pimp, listen, listen, listen. hey, I, listen, no, Bill, no, 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 weren't you a pimp, okay, you were a pimp, no, no, listen, when, 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 when Devin Haney, what kind of, what, what kind of, Ryan, he brought these all two girls around him, okay, you know, he's just a well, pimp. What, Listen, what, once what a I'm pimp, showing, always a pimp. What I'm showing the world is what you're supposed to do as a father no matter what you make choices. What you're seeing 100%. is the product of a guy that made a lot of bad choices, but he's standing right here. What you have in them, they're, in, they're acting like they're imposters. No, they were, they were a, they're a great family, the Garcias. They've been in boxing. He was a 15-time amateur champion. What you're saying is wrong. You're creating a narrative that's different than what we are. We are a father and son team that stayed down, and we don't do that. You said all this pimp shit. No, 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 no. But that's... But I don't respect the man with the toupee over there, your husband, because he's bringing up the bullshit. Okay. Now, how you gonna keep it real? You're a nappy now, head, at the end motherfucker. Of the, yeah. Nappy head. I sound like some racist shit. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, uh, listen, hey, us, that's what us, he's looking us, like. Us, really us, got a two pay on. Looking us, like. Us, I'm us, sorry. Us really African, got a two pay on. Listen, nappy head. Listen, us African American Americans, that's we have racist. we have more coarse coarse hair that's than 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 you Latinos. But that don't make our hair nappy. But that does not make our hair nappy. So so don't get it confused. I don't I don't care about all facts or whatever you got to say. At the end of the day, we're African Americans and we have a different course of hair. That does not mean that our hair 
hair is nappy. No. Bro, look, 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 Listen, look. Let's people, keep it moving. Let's people, just keep it moving. These, these, keep these it moving. people are not who you who, who you guys think they are. This this guy is talking about nappy hair. What like how when and what and what world is that okay to talk about a black man's hair? He has. We're talking about a toupee. We did not ever say about a black who cares? Who cares? Who cares? We're talking. Let's about move hair. on. Let's move on. Who cares? Like I said, on a subject of hair, bro. Listen, I'm tripping. Listen, no, th- fighting Ryan. Stick to that, Devin. Listen, Come on. Hey, listen. Both of you guys are professional. Stick to that. That's all. Come on. Let's keep it real. That was that was that was very unprofessional. But at the end of the day, like I said, I'm happy to be here. I worked so hard to get here. I sacrificed uh, a, a lot to be here. And at the end of the day, on April 20th. The world will see. Though my hard work will pay off, and we we getting this guy out of boxing. He's a fucking clown. Him, him and his family. Hey, 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 Mario, 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 Mario. Now, now I'm gonna ask you this: If you're not Ryan the liar, then you said that you seen Devin get wobbled. If you're not lying, Ryan, you seen Devin get wobbled by Tank on there. Did you see Tank get stopped? And did you see me get paid when Devin when Devin stopped Tank? What question? If you seen the tape. I, I told you he's a liar. No, I don't know what he's asking. Yeah. I didn't even did you see the tape? I was on my phone. Did Floyd, did Floyd show you the tape? I, yes, he showed me the tape. Did you see Devin get did you see Devin stop tank and no, see us get paid the money? No, no. So you only saw part of the tape? No. Maybe. I don't know. It was obviously clipped, but at the end of the fucking tape, Devin was getting his ass knocked out. I'm not cat. Why am we, I gonna we lie? Watch, we watched Tank knock you out. The world seen Tank no, knock you out. You yeah, quit. That's good. You okay. quit. Okay. You quit. The world seen you take a knee and quit like a bitch. Yeah. Damn, stop. All right, all right, Damn, gentlemen. Stop the guy that stop you. Gentlemen, we're gonna continue with some. You're gonna uh, get what, stopped. A couple questions for uh, each of the fighters as we keep it going there. Um, Ryan, Devin, uh, well, you actually just heard him call you a, a, a quitter, but do you think, Ryan, that Devin's ever faced anyone with your speed and power, and how confident are you? now at 140, being in this weight class? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really confident. I mean, well, I'm confident no matter what, you know. Um, I feel great at this weight. I feel healthy. Um, you can see it on my energy levels and how strong I am. But, um, you know, I'm confident no matter what. But, yeah. Devin. Say it louder, please. Devin, we oh, I fucking uh, need some, some, some coke to talk. You need some alcohol to talk. This fuck motherfucker sound dumb as fuck. No, I'm on like 20 black coffees. No cap. All black coffees. <laughs> That's what gets me going. Coke. Cool. It, it looks like I'm a Coke because I... Never mind. Devin. I don't even look that. Yeah, you're right. I don't even... Yeah, do I need to explain myself? Probably not. Huh? You know why you got to hey, You know me, Demi? I love you. the truth. You were with me 24-7. Have you ever seen me do cocaine? Never in your life, huh? I love you. What happened? Ever. Fuck out of here, motherfucker. Hey, what if I came up there and I beat the fuck out of you, motherfucker? I bet you won't do it. I bet you won't do it. Go do it. You ain't gonna do shit. Sit your little ass down. Devin. We, I don't even know who you are, bro. I, I can't even see you, bro. I don't know where these voices are coming from, bro. That's them voices in your head. <laughs> Devin, we've seen your uh, we've seen your progression over the last few years, and and do you feel that we've seen the best of Devin Haney yet? Will this be the fight where you truly peak at this weight? No, nah, the world hasn't seen the best Devin Haney. Uh, every fight, I get, I'm getting better and better. Um, I was at 135 for a long time, you know, killing myself to make the weight. At 140, the world's seen, you know, how much better I am at uh, 140, and uh, on April 20th, I'm going to be even better, inshallah. And Ryan, obviously this rivalry has gotten uh, pretty personal between you guys. You obviously have fought each other since you were kids. Is, is this fight, being that it's personal, the most important fight of your life right now? This is a huge moment. Um, I don't know if it's the most important time in my life. I've been through a lot of important times in my life, so I would have to like go on my memory bank, but it's, it's, it's up there for sure. Hey Ryan, you you're not gonna pull out though. We don't do we do we need Arnold Barbosa for the backup opponent or are you gonna are you gonna show up on April twentieth? Barclay, April twentieth. Are you gonna be there? No comment. Ryan, you're asking. Ryan, are you gonna be there? Or are you <laughs> or are you gonna go on your phone? <laughs> Devin. Ryan. 
Queen Rye, are you going to be there? All right. I'm are you having a panic attack over there, Brian? What's going on? Devin. <laughs> Devin, just a few years ago, um, you, you, you were being called by a lot of people the, the email champion, and now you have victories over Lomachenko, Cambosis, Progre, Will of Victory over Ryan, cement your place as the face of boxing, do you feel? Yeah, I mean, um, at the end of the day, you know, Ryan is just uh, uh, another opponent. At the end of the day, he's, he's another uh, name off, off my resume. But um, is it a huge fight? Is it, does this fight mean everything to me right now where I'm at in my career? 100%. But um, Ryan is no different than, than any other opponent. Ryan, uh, Devin's coming off a... Is that Dora? <laughs> oh, Coco Bari. <laughs> okay. Right, Ryan, De Devin's coming off of a, a great performance against Regis Progre. Do you think he has the power to hurt you, or do you expect a more cautious Devin Haney come April 20th, so he has to be leery of your power? It's on his, uh, you know, his record and, and what I know about him. Um, no, I'm not worried about his power. Uh, that's, what, uh, that's what it is. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just looking, maybe you got power now. You just never know, but... It's all good. And, and, and Devin, Ryan stated that he's going to retire if you knock him out in the first round. So can we expect a more aggressive Listen, Devin? Ryan might retire before we even get to the fight. So I'm not only fucking <laughs> All right, gentlemen, Oscar, would you like to say the final word? That's good. That's it. All right. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, April 20th. No energy. It's going to go down. Three and three. Who's going to win that fourth? We shall, we shall wait and see. Now, uh, thank you, Arnold Barbosa, for being here. It's going to be a stacked card from top to bottom. We'll announce shortly tickets, everything. Uh, let's now face the fighters. Thank you, guys.